How to use the Google Earth Flight Simulator. If you have the Google Earth version that was released on August 20, 2007, or later, you have access to a flight simulator. The Google Earth Flight Simulator is a flight simulator that uses Google Earth satellite images as the ground for a more realistic experience. Depending on the system, it can be accessed by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus A, Ctrl plus A, or Command plus Option plus A then pressing Enter. After this feature has been activated at least once it appears under the Tools menu. Since V4.3, the option is no longer hidden by default. Currently, only the F-16 Fighting Falcon and the Cirrus State Route 22 are the only aircraft that can be used, in addition to quite a few airports. This will be a lot of fun once you get the hang of it. Starting the flight simulator. Open the simulator. Open up the drop-down tools menu in the top toolbar of Google Earth. If you have an earlier version than V4.3, access the flight simulator by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus A, Ctrl plus A, or Command plus Option plus A then pressing Enter. After this feature has been activated at least once, it appears under the Tools menu. Establish your settings. A small window should now open up. There are three parts to this, aircraft, start position and joystick. Aircraft, choose the airplane you would like to fly. The State Route 22 is a slower plane and easier for beginners while the F-16 is for more intermediate to expert users. In this guide, we are using the F-16 as an example. Start position, you can either your current view, starting off from an airport of a major city or your last position on the flight simulator. Beginners should use the New York airport. Joystick, check the box if you are using a joystick to control your airplane. 